Hello viewers, I'm teacher Roger Michira, teacher of history, who will be taking you through cooperation in Africa. And today we'll get, we'll get to look at the performance of Pan-Africanism, or rather the, pan, the, the performance of Pan-African movement. What, has, what are some of the achievements of Pan-African movement? And the station you're watching is LMU TV, where you get to watch and learn. Welcome all, and let us learn. Now class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We need to expect that we need to state the achievements of Pan-Africanism and also get to state the challenges encountered by the Pan-African movement. Let us get straight to the uh, performance, right, or rather the, the achievements. One, the movement enlightened black people all over the world and created awareness in them about their suffering. Remember, Pan-Africanism was a uniting factor, was a unifying factor of the people of the African origin, of people of the African descent, right? So when they, when they united, talk of the, look at the, the conferences, right? So it enlightened the black people all over the world and created awareness of their suffering. And also, it was, fa it was first initiatives that provided a forum for black people to voice their grievances. Talk of the conferences we have talked about. The first, right, the last, uh, mostly the, the last, uh, the last Pan-African conference, the Manchester, right, in 1945. These were the Africans aired their grievances, right? So they had a voice. Good. And also, nature the spirit of solidarity among black people. Remember, this is when they started independence agitations, right? And it was as a result of a uh, the Pan-African conferences, whereby Ghana started to agitate for independence, for self-determination, uh, right? And we, we always know that Africa, in Africa, Ghana was the first country to gain independence, and also encourage cooperation among African leaders and states towards organization. Now, the African leaders had to come together and work uh, in unity. And also, Africanism was seen in action during the Ethiopian crisis in 1935. So, in 1935, in Africa, is one of the significant events that occurred. This is when Italy invaded Ethiopia, right? Now, this sparked protests among blacks all over the world against Italy. And this is the year that Benito Mussolini of Italy did, didn't make it in a... In, in Ethiopia, so it did not it did not take over Ethiopia. Now the African people united in protest till the defeat of Italy, and also the, the the movement laid the basis for interest in research on African culture, history, literature, religion, music, among other fields. Talk of uh, these Pan-Africanists we know. Talk of W. E. A. Du Bois. Talk of Booker T. Washington, right? Talk of Kwame Nkrumah. They were people who were educated. They were literate, right? In history, literature, religion, and music, among other fields. And also, it led to aspiration of Pan-Africanism reached its political goal in 1963 when, it, uh, when there was establishment of the Organization of African Unity. That is OAU in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Now, OAU was as a result of Pan-Africanism. Right? And remember, from OAU, we went to African unity, right? which is still in place. Now, we can't, we can't just mention uh, achievements. We also have got failures or challenges that um, the Pan-Africanism encountered. For example, right? movement lacked adequate funds to run its operations. And it, it, it is solely dependent on the well-wishers from the member states. Right? Also, the movement failed to fully resolve the difference that arose among the independence, among those African countries that emerged between French-speaking countries and the Anglophones, right? So the, the, the French-speaking countries and the English-speaking countries. So the Pan-African movement failed to, to resolve those differences between the Francophone, the Afro and, and Anglophone states. And also, did not have a basis in Africa, since most African countries were still under colonial rule. So the Pan-African movement, that's why you see mostly it was conducted in, in diaspora, right? In London, in Europe, right? So it was conducted in diaspora. So it didn't have a basis in Africa. Then finally, economic empowerment of African states was not achieved, as most of them remained dependent on their colonial masters for economic support. Right? They didn't have financial support, 
So it is a, so they solely dependent on the support from their colonial masters. So class, we have looked at the challenges faced by the Pan-African movement, and also we have looked at what are some of the of the of, of the of the progress. What progress did, did Africa uh, Pan-Africanism make? Right, the performance of Pan-Africanism. Now, class, for our assignment, can we get to? state some of the achievements that were made by the Pan-Africanist and also, for your reference, get to refer to Evolving World, History and Government Form 4, the seventh edition. And as always, this is a limit TV, your favorite learning station where you get to watch and learn.